Hello folks, welcome back to the PC Lover 81 channel. Almost at the end of June 2014, it's been a while since we made a video. Uh, we're in the new house now, and uh, until I get the work done down in the basement, uh, the workshop area is going to be up here in my room. So, uh, for tonight's video, um, this is one that's uh, kind of special to me. Um, I hate stuff getting thrown away. Uh, I love to save anything I can and, you know, repurpose it when somebody's done with it. So, what we have here tonight for this video is actually an E-Machines desktop model. I believe it's W5243. Uh, not a powerhouse system. It's an Athlon 64 based system. Uh, it's got a gig of Samsung DDR2. I think it's PC5300 RAM in there. Um, just your basic no frill system. It's got one of those crappy Best Tech power supplies. And uh, I don't know if the board that's in there is original or not. It's actually an ECS board, so uh, i got to do a little research on it and find out if that's original to this particular system or not. But, uh, yeah, somebody had this out on a curb. They were ready to get rid of it. Uh, looked at the board. The board has all the caps look good. Uh, none of them are bulging or anything like that. Uh, we're going to power this thing up probably tomorrow after I get done work and uh, see just what's what with it. But, uh, you know, I, what, what I think is, uh, and this is a pet peeve of mine, you know, everybody seems to think that uh, you have to have the most powerful processor in the world to go online and do your online banking and, you know, do stuff like that. Well, that's just not true. So, the board has two SATA ports on it. And uh, it is an IDE-based uh, drive. I think it's a burner drive that reads and writes CDs and DVDs. So, you know, if the board and the chip check out good and everything checks out, uh, I think we're going to leave that the way it is. Throw a cheap hard drive SSD in here and have a nice little system just to go on the Internet with. And, you know, it's, it'll be a low-powered system, so we won't need a really high wattage power supply. I might even put uh, one of those little Antec Earthwatts power supplies in it. Maybe one of those 380-watt deals. Uh, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. And, uh, you know, we'll have a low-buck, low-watt system that we save from the trash... And, uh, you know, kind of found it, you know, gave it gave it some new life other than uh, sending it to the landfill. It's got a couple little battle scars on it, but uh, overall it's in clean condition. So, uh, you know, we'll do a power on self-test. We'll get out the air compressor and blow it out and clean it up, and we'll keep you guys posted on this. Um, still working on plans for that Dell, uh, I believe it was the Optiplex 382 that we did over at the other house. I uh, gotta get some RAM for it, and uh, actually, with just the four gigs, it runs pretty good. So maybe I might just leave it there. But uh, you know that that's where we're at right now, and uh, appreciate you guys uh, hanging in there. I thank you all, you folks, for you new folks that have recently subscribed to my channel. I tried to read up all the messages and emails and stuff that I get. Uh, appreciate all the kind words, and uh, you know we're gonna try to keep these good videos going, and. Uh, Hang in there, stick with me, and uh, if you like the videos, hit the subscribe button. Uh, you know, the more the merrier. We're a positive channel, and we try to keep things nice and good here. So uh, stay tuned. There are more exciting videos to come. Thanks for watching.